Welcome to Carmen's Cajun Kitchen. I just wanted to say this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I'm really glad because we're cooking crab and mushroom bisque. We're going to cook um, probably about three gallons, maybe four gallons of crab and mushroom bisque today. So this pot's going to be really full. So whenever you um, get ready to cook this at home, you can cut the recipe in half or in four. We're feeding a lot of hungry people that love this stuff today. I'm going to start with the burner on high. And a whole pound of butter, four sticks. Okay, now that the butter's melted, we're going to dump in two and a half cups of flour. I'm going to stir it around. And we're going to cook the flour. We're not going to brown it, we're just going to cook it. This usually takes. I don't know, maybe five minutes. You can start smelling the flour after it's starting to cook. And this is somewhat of a light roux, what I would call a light roux. Alright, now we're going to add in four cups of celery. Two large onions, two large bell peppers, one large, this is about three cups of parsley, but it's uh, it was a pretty large bunch, and four cups of green onions. Then we're going to stir. You want to make sure that the roux is all mixed up with the vegetables. We're going to turn the stove down to like a medium high because you don't want the roux to brown. Mm. I think I could eat this by myself without anything else in it. Anyway, I'm going to keep stirring this until the vegetables are kind of tender. Okay, this is a pretty quick meal after you get everything cut up. Okay, now we're going to pour in six pints of um, half and half. And you want to kind of stir the um, the vegetables into the the half and half and the and the roux. Now your vegetables are not all the way cooked yet, but it's going to get there. I promise. I tried to buy some quartz, but they didn't have any. If you have a chance to buy quartz, I just use three quartz. And this is, this was originally a, an appetizer for us a long time ago, but we all started enjoying it so much we just decided to make it a meal. Alright, I'm going to turn this burner up a little bit more now, and we're going to start cooking it. Okay, this is going to start getting really thick. But 
we're going to add milk to thin it out a little bit. Okay, then we're going to add, this is three pounds of mushrooms. And mushrooms produce a lot of fluid, a lot of water, a lot of liquid. So after we let this simmer down a little bit, we're going to cover it for a few minutes. Let it cook. I'm going to salt and pepper it to taste. Okay, now that we've got it all stirred up, we're going to cover it and let it simmer for a little while. We're going to bring it to a boil first, then we're going to turn it down. Okay, we're going to... you got to keep stirring it. Now, we cut these mushrooms only in half, and they're fairly large, but mushrooms shrink down so small after they're cooked. Okay, we're going to start to thin this out now because it's getting really thick, just like I told you it would. And I guess for y'all's sake, I don't never measure, but I'm going to put in, let's see, one, two, three, four. All right, we're going to turn this down about medium, medium high, and we're going to let it simmer. And we'll be back in just a second to stir it and check it again. Okay, I'm going to add four more cups of milk because this is getting a little bit thick again. One, two, three, four. How about that? That's the way I like to cook. Don't measure. I promise you that was four cups. I told you this pot was going to be full. Alright, we're going to let it cook a little while longer. We're still cooking this kind of medium high. Mushrooms are starting to sink. And the last thing we're going to put in is our crab meat, but we're not going to put it in until our mushrooms are done. And you can't turn milk up on high all, all the way because it'll burn, I promise you. And if you don't have crab meat, you can just eat it like this. This is cream of mushroom. This is Carmen's version of cream of mushroom. And do not add garlic to this, because it takes away from the crab meat. All right, we're going to cover it and let it cook a little bit more.
Okay, I'm going to dump in, this is a pound of crab claws. You don't have to use crab claws. And a whole pound of crab meat. This is lump white. And we're going to put in two more cups of milk. So that's ten cups altogether. But you have to remember this is a four gallon pot. The crab meat does not have to cook. So we're going to turn off the stove and we're going to let it set. Thank you for joining us again today. This is the way we make crab and mushroom bisque. Now once it's like this, we're going to keep it covered even though the fire's turned off. We're going to keep it covered for a little bit longer. Thank you again for watching. Please remember to subscribe. Amy and Christy, I love you with all my heart. Caleb and Aiden and Lauren, I'll never forget you. Grandma loves you. See y'all later. Y'all come back. Bye-bye.